Well, Zoo Knoxville continues. They're bringing the zoo to you educational videos while they're closed. And here they are with some crafty ideas from Kids Cove. We have a lot of animals that will uh, enjoy providing artwork for us. So the, a lot of our post stock in the barn, the hogs, the goats, the sheep, they all like to paint. The donkeys paint too. The skunks and raccoons will also paint. The chickens and our turkeys. The otters uh, on occasion will paint, very much up to them. Uh, and then our rats and mice will also paint as well. So we can use food, like we can scatter food over the paintings, or we can use paint bottles and toys to lure them through, like we do with our turkey. Um, we also can put water in the paint and make it less smelly for some of the animals. And then some of them just don't even care and we'll just walk through it or play with it. Oh, I'd have to say Barley. He, he is a magical painter. He gives wonderful footprints. Um, he leaves feather marks. It's just, it's just magical. They, they really in, in get a lot from interacting with the keepers, and so it, it's part of that. Some of it is training tactics, so getting them to kind of keep their mind sharp, it just gives us one other way to use behaviors that are natural to them and get a little bit creative with them. Uh, but it also gives people an opportunity to, to take part of those things home with them. So maybe they have a favorite animal uh, and they can take a part of that home with them if it's up in the shop or if they uh, are able to acquire a painting. I really enjoy it because I'm, art is a big part of my life. Painting is a big part of my life. And mixing colors and finding a different shade and how the colors are going to mix together. It's really fun. And then letting the animals in on that. And then just getting to spend more time with the animals on top of our everyday interaction is just superb.